Hey, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this series, I'm going to show you how to get perfect audio on your live stream. Now, for this, you're going to need some live streaming software. The one I recommend you grab right now is at mrc.fm slash slobs or mrc.fm slash slops, if you like. That'll take you to a fantastic piece of pimped software from Streamlabs. Uh, I've been using OBS for a while to do my live streams. Streamlabs have kind of taken it and enhanced it. So you'll need to download that first and foremost, and it's Windows only at the moment. Um, but it's super cool, and you can do a lot of great stuff with your audio using Streamlabs OBS. Okay, that's done. Let's open it up and have a look at how Streamlabs OBS looks and how good it can be for your audio as well. So the first thing it does uh, when you execute it for the first time, checks for updates, and then ta-da, we have Streamlabs OBS, which is looking really good. Obviously, I need to connect my accounts now, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, that's great. Now, the great thing is, if you come back to this or load it up on another computer, it will import all the scenes and everything you set up inside Streamlabs OBS. It even imports stuff over from your original OBS setup if you've been using OBS Studio before. Uh, I'm just gonna click Start Fresh for this, and then you can add widgets. This is what Streamlabs is famous for, so alert boxes when uh, people subscribe or pay you via Super Chat, tip jars, uh, event lists, chat boxes, donation tickers, you name it, you can add these widgets, but I'm just gonna set them up later. And then you'll get something that looks rather like OBS Studio, just, I guess, a little bit uh, slicker and smoother looking. Uh, you've got the scene collections, the ability to add cameras, and we're going to be interested in adding desktop audio and your microphone and your aux input. So we're going to be playing with this, uh, setting this all up. You can obviously customize this in the settings here. You can go into audio. There's a whole audio section here to choose where your audio devices are, select them and add them, and then eventually you will get audio down there. And I'll go deeply into how you can customize the audio, add filters, make your audio sound better in future tutorials. 